Hey guys, what's up? Today we are uh we're coming on to request from what's what's his name? What's his what's his name? What's his name? Is it Kylo Craft or something like that? Oh no, Pitch Gaming. Uh this is to Pitch Gaming. Uh, he requested, uh, that I make, um, he requested if I could make, uh, sliding doors. So, I'm gonna, sh uh, I'm just basically gonna show you guys today how to make sliding doors. So, yeah, that's gonna be our, it's gonna be our thing. So, first, what you kinda wanna do is you kinda wanna build a good little, area where the doors might be going in so once you get that you're gonna kind of want to um make some doors or make uh whatever you want to be sliding in and out whoops I know they look bland right now. Um, I'll change your point five and the color to like yeah, that's good. So um, it's not gonna go all the way. Kind of take that, move that over here. So now what you want to do is now you want to get I'm just going to I'm just going to rename this base plate. I'm going to shut the Sorry about the dogs, they can be really loud. So, um we're going to be we're, we're, I'm going to try to uh make these doors. I'm going to attempt to make the door these doors for um this guy who has um I think subbed and if he's not subbed then please subscribe man if you're watching this video. <laughs> so now you want to get all of these and you want to group them. And you're gonna uh wanna make to uh select those two. Re I'm gonna rename this door one. And rename it door two. Now, um, what the easiest way you could do this is set up a player check, which is basically when uh, it's like a configuration how far away they are, and it puts a touch interest in them, a touch interest in it. So what you would want to do is you kind of would want to make something kind of like this and you know uh make it make it uh can collide be off off Blech. can't talk today and you kind of want to shorten it up a little bit you don't want to make it visible either when it's done so <coughs> sorry i'm like got a cold so when players then walk next to this or get um touch it it is going to um it's going to notify the script it's going to uh tell whether to open the doors or not so what you need to uh need to have is you need to have a it's it's a vector. I think we need to we need to enter a vector three value. Yes, that. I believe the ones I believe what I used before was. Yeah, that's what. I so these this um will change its size to whatever um 
to make it so how far you want the player to be in with range. So we're going to rename this uh, player uh, hmm. I don't really know. It's going to Uh, hit. We're just going to rename a hit because that's what the player is going to hit. So now in this, all of this stuff, you are, oh, I just realized something. There's something you kind of want to make sure you do also is the positions. Because you could also make these move backwards. You can make them move backwards. You can make them move forward. But you would have to have a position for that. So, um... Let's just see what we can do with this right now. So, insert a script. And let's uh let's classify some variables first. Okay. Oh, cool. Whoops. Or one equals script dot parent dot one local door two equal script dot parent dot door two so now that um whoa that is not defined right i did make it like that huh i did never notice that so now that we have our variables defined we want to change their position i guess and i guess you uh Kind you kind of want to say that. Um, so either one, you can either change them by C frames, or what I'm going to do right now is you're going to give them, you're going to make little positions, which are like they're like the instead of they're um kind of like uh what you want the door to go back into, kind of like that. So we're going to put this. So right about no 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 right there. We're gonna nope. We're gonna bring this in here and we're gonna rename it door one position. Now, actually, we're going to figure out which one's door one, which one's door two. I just want to make sure. Door one. Okay, yep. So, copy and paste that. And take that and just move it to the other side. And just rename it door two. So now that you have that, um, uh, now I gotta I gotta make sure what I'm doing is correct because I did the hit I did the hit, and then there's a script with uh, Ah, yes, that's what I thought. We need that, and then we're going to make this uh, some other stuff, too. So, don't mind that. So, door. So, we're also, I guess we forgot to define door. Door equals script dot, dot parent. So door dot player check dot size equal door dot player check dot hit dot value. 
this is gonna make it so that inside the do the uh there's gonna be a touch interest so that that should make it so that inside this model that did i put it in the correct model probably not probably not i didn't Oh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, we did not just, we did not just check that. That's why. That's why I was thinking about that model. Wait a second. I just saw. Yeah, where's my, uh, where's my door position? Pit is now a valid member of part. Are you serious? I knew it was right. Player, check. Ah, uh, that's why, that's why, that's why. Let's be in player check. Player check should also be. Player check should be anchored. Uh, not door one and door two. These two anchored. Anchored. Door two position should be anchored. Door one position should be anchored. So now player check should still be in there. Oh, it doesn't have its hit. Oh yes, we have to put the uh, we still have to make the on touch statement. So basically, now that what that's gonna mean is I'm actually gonna move that down a little bit. So now what it's gonna mean is it's gonna move it down. Uh, and it's gonna make it so that when you hit, these are gonna move backwards. So the script and. Now we gotta make a function on touch. And then hit is what we're gonna name it. So we basically now want door one and door two to now move to door. Um, now we want to move it to the door one position. So first we must uh, label the pos like uh, identify the positions. Door P one equals script dot parent dot door position one. You can just copy that and paste that, and then you can change that to two. And change that to two. So function on touch hit. If hit, oh, that's hot. Hit whoops. Okay, I don't make sure. Dot name. Oh, come on. E equal torso then and I believe correctly that it was after that there then local human blah, blah blah local human equal oh I didn't even localize I didn't even localize it right Hit dot parent find I believe isn't it find first child? Oh sorry I didn't even word it right. I didn't even do that right. Find first child Hume Manoid. I believe that's how you spell humanoid. I could be wrong. Yep, I was wrong. Funny. 
Okay, then it's like if human then right. Oh if No. Oh, never mind. I'm still getting used to that thing. So if human human oh my gosh my spelling today and then we need whatever that oh wait no nope and equal sign nil then Door, <coughs> door one dot position equal door P one dot huh, position. And you can just copy these. And change that to two. So let's test if that works right so far. Hit is not a valid member of model. Of course it's not. Where? What will hit equal? Oh. Of course, not the whole time. That's the problem. Wait, is hit? Is that an L? Did I spell that wrong? Okay. Also, script. Dot parent. Oh yeah, script. Dot parent. Dot. Player check. Dot. Hit. What, what now? Hit is not a valid member of part. Player check dot hit. Hit is not a valid. It, it's a function, you idiot. Oh, duh. Untouched. And then put what it's going to be in parentheses, right? Yeah. Wait, did you capitalize that? Ah! No wonder we are an idiot. We are a freaking idiot. Yep, door to player. Okay, yeah, that's all. Well, we did we define door? Hit is not about member of part. Are you serious? Did I, did I even define door right? Oh, door. Oh, player. Oh, my goodness. Player check. Wait. No, duh. So now let's see where. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that worked. Um it changed its height and it literally changed to its position above its position. <coughs> so did it work? Yes. Was it not very uh clean? No. It wasn't. Um, now, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause this, because there's another way to do it, I gotta figure it out, so I'm gonna pause, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I'm back for, after a bit, and, um, so, basically, I started messing around a bunch, and I got, I made this thing called, I named a sliding door, and it's kind, it's kind, it's really simple, but it's different. Um, I made a folder and I selected the wrong type of folder. It was not supposed to be a configuration folder for some reason, but I screwed up. So 
basically there is this option also with this with the door light which basically is an optional uh it's an optional feature that if you want you can add to it but basically this tells this helps you tell with the door so i'm gonna go over the script with you guys or a little bit because it's almost the exact same thing as the other one was but there's a little bit of differences so like on the touch and the hit part there's this as you see there's this so basically what you have to do is you have to define open you have to define the open position of the doors and then you have to define the closed position of the doors so and then you gotta put the you know, obviously you gotta put this as a bomb but you have to like make a ton of C-frame stuff, and I'll be giving the script in the description. So, uh, for you pits gaming, here is your awesome. Whoops, that's not working. Uh oh, I think it's stuck. It that happens sometimes. Why is it when I'm about to show? Okay, when I'm about to show it, it doesn't work. See? Works. On the sound, you don't even need the sound. I just decided to use a random sound that I had, and it turned out to be that. So that's a uh, cool way of making um, events. So Pits Gaming, hope you're happy. Here's your new door uh, system that you can now make, and I'll be giving the script away in the description. So you then you guys have to make the blocks and stuff and name them and stuff. So... Uh, I will see you guys later. Peace, and I sub like, subscribe, and give me more su suggestions down in the comments for what you want me to do, and I will see you guys later. Yeah!